Left side here on Dragonshire we have our blue team SK Gaming and they're all readied up in the party lane. Aragi on Diablo, Zarmini on uh, Zarmini on Arthas, Bakery on the Demon Hunter Vala, Linked playing Tychus and BZ, oh no BZ on Tychus and Link playing Rhaegar. And their opponents also over here in the party lane. They are Team Acer with Green out on Uther, Zypho playing Tassadar, and A Pony playing Nazibo. In the top line, it's just a single Zon on Muradin. And they're still sticking around here in this party lane. But they're getting kind of pushed back, SK Gaming that is, but a good heal by Linked, keeping everyone on top of things. And it looks like he might rotate down. Nope, we'll probably heal up first. It's already kind of low. Um, and Team Acer did a pretty good job just clearing this wave. So there's that screen for you, Heroes Tempest. Enjoy. And there's the rotation again. Acer still sticking around. Oh, Aragi's in trouble. Some good body blocking, but a nice pushback there. Greenout still trying to body block him, but looks like he can get away. Link teaming up again. And they're all in their respective lanes. They're working this quite well. But Acer uh, still going around with that, with that ganking squad. Still roaming. Uther and Zeratul making their way up, up to Zarmini. He should realize something might be happening. Oh, and there comes the stun. Holo going straight for him. Some good body blocking. I don't think he can get away this time. Nope. There comes the final blow by Zahn. Really good job. And that's first blood going to Team Acer. And they will get control of the watchtower on, uh, on of the shrine on top. A pony just solo laning it here versus Vala and Tychus. So I don't think he can go too far out. This Shrine will be under the control of SK Gaming for quite some time. But so far, A Pony is still doing well. He will need help pretty soon, and they're all trying to come in here. Zypho already waiting in the bushes. There's that first storm, but no real follow up possible. Aragi trying to help out, and they will need some help up here. A Pony getting quite a bit of damage in, but a good heal out of green out. So, let's check out their talents. Diablo is going for Devil's Stew, reduced resurrection cost to 60 souls, so it's basically like a little bit of a cheaper resurgence. And wow, that's the first dragon already going to Team Acer. And they're trying to push these gates down. Uh, Zypho helping out here, but everyone else just sticking to their lanes, trying to soak up as much XP as they can. But this is a really early Dragon Knight. This is going to help them out quite a bit to get, a bit, get ahead here. Uh, what do we have as his second talent? It's Swallowing Flames. Fire waves extend 50% farther. And we have the multi-shot build on Vala. Pike is going for a melting point. And of course in Venom on Arthas. And they're still trying to push this. They should get the tower here, but oh Zypho not really not really wanting to risk it. What do we have on Rega? Healing Totem and Farsight. And no real surprises either from from these guys, so looks looks pretty looks pretty standard so far. And we're back to the party lane down here. How's Murad and Faring versus Arfis? Uh, I think he's doing quite well, quite well so far. And they're still about half a level ahead, so they will reach level seven now. Let's check out what they're doing. Uh, just the continuous uh, improvements onto Stormbolt. And that's the first siege camp going down. Same thing should be happening for SK. Uh, yeah, that's what they're doing. And just continuing to build that Psy Storm. Uh, looks like Nazibo not quite sure. Oh, he's going for Clairvoyance. It's gonna help out quite a bit. Um, see where they're going. And he also checked already at this bottom shrine. Uh, <laughs> looks like Acer was looking for a um, Siege Camp steal there. Got in a little bit too late. Now it's just Siege Giants versus Siege Giants. Holo trying to come on top of Vala, but that's not gonna work. She just dashes away. And cleanse on Uther. And just continuing to build that cleave on Zeratul. Over here we have twice uh, the battle momentum. And of course first aid on Tychus. A rune tap on Arthas. And earth shield for Rhaegar. 
And the shrines will activate pretty soon. Zypho still trying to push this lane as hard as he can. And there's the rotation coming out of Acer. They're going for this top lane, but first they want to trap Zarmini. And there's the root. Zarmini getting another stun in. And there's the lockdown onto Holo and Greenout. Body block trying to come in and Murden just jumps on top, takes him out. That's the second kill. And always Arthas. Always Arthas. That poor soul. And slaughter your enemy. So they'll try to rotate down, try to get this fort finally. The bakery coming in, trying to catch Zaifu. Olo helping him out there. And there, they're still a decent one level ahead. Let's see if they can capture this bottom bottom shrine. Pony is going for it. Olo coming in, but it's three versus two. This is not gonna work all that well. Bakery is quite low. There comes the first aid on to BZ. And they have control again, and Uther's the only one here. This looks like there's gonna be their second dragon. Nope, there's a steal. Zarmini coming in and Aragi helping out. They're working this quite well so far. Just going for the steal at the last possible second, but they can't really engage any of this right now. It's level 10 versus level 9. And we don't have any real surprises uh, on the talents. Oh, there's the first Void Prison and they're all going for it. A little bit too early on the Ravenous Spirit, but that's enough. Double kill coming out for Acer. And Bakery is in trouble as well over here. So that's con total control in that bottom shrine. Maybe Murican, Murden can do something in top as well. Uh, doesn't quite look like it. He's he's not risking anything here. Maybe in avatar form he can go up against Arthas. But he's just waiting there. So let's see. Is Zahn going to go for that? Uh, ooh, nice dodge on, on the road. They have control of both shrines now. And even going for the bruisers. Wow! Acer is on fire. Right now it doesn't look like SK can stand a chance here. And... We'll have to see if their Diablo counter, counter works out now. There's the Hearthstone. And, well, not quite managing to get that Dragon Knight. And what do we have over here? Lightning Breath. Um, that deals 320 damage over 4 seconds in the cone. And um, you can just change the direction with your mouth cursor. So um, if you've not seen that Diablo heroic in action, it's because Diablo hasn't been picked in ages. And Ancestral Healing on Rhaegar, so, as I said, uh, the usual heroics. Yeah. Good work on those Sea Giants. And they will just return to lane, maybe go for that bottom lane once again. Oh, Holo, just missed that grenade. And yeah, there they are. Let's see if they can go for a steal here. It's just a pony and Holo for now, but Uther is just waiting in the bushes up. So they're looking, to, looking for a gank here, if they can get it, and then... Turn this around. Oh, there's the Void Prison again. And they're going for the surround. Ravenous Spirit has been has been used up. And Beezy is getting a lot of damage. And there comes the Lightning Breath, but it's not doing all that much. Holo jumping in from the back, trying to jump on top of Beezy. And he will get that kill. But he's quite low as well. Looks like they can pick him up. And they can. Bakery's still in there, trying to chase off Zaifu. But I don't think they will get that kill here. But they will at least get control off the bottom shrine. A pony trying to stop it. Oh, this control might not hold for a while. Ooh, Bakery, he's trapped in there. There comes the storm. Maybe another one would finish him off here. A pony is chasing him. And should be enough, maybe. Nope, that shield saving him. And then Venom could have taken him out here, but... Fortunately, not available. And Aragi needs to watch out. They're all rotating back mid here. And with Tassadar and Greenout... They might be able to get it, but it's 5v2, so that's not gonna happen for now. Mirrodin coming down, so Zeratul. Only Nazibo staying in lane. And their heroics. Oh, give me a sec. Not quite available. The avatar form is the only thing that's available, but they bottomed the time, and Holo is in the Dragon Knight now. So they will definitely go for a kill here. And grab that. Ooh, Diablo was picked off on the right side, but they'll go for the fort now. Ford is in trouble. Another fire breath. And yeah, just trying to put out the damage on top of the fort. Everyone else trying to stay back as far as they can. Oh, Zon caught out in the root. Zomini trying to body block him from the side. Olo is quite low already, and there's the kick onto Arthas. Really important to always try to kick the tank out of that fight. And they'll go for a retreat, full on retreat mode for Acer. 
Rogue's almost available again, and there goes that Void Prism. Amazing Void Prism here by Holo. Aragi runs in there, and they're all going for it. Bakery dropping so low. BZ jumping out of the Odin instantly, and there's Vala being picked off. Holo will go down, but they might get another kill here. Zomini is being chased off. Uh, he's quite low. Another stun would kill him off here, and there's the jump, and that should be it. He's going down. Tychus did manage to save himself. And Diablo is still alive, trying to defend this lane somehow. But they're gonna push this next forward as well. This one is for sure going down. 20 seconds here on Arthas. And they really need Arthas for a fight, so I doubt that it'll actually go for anything. And even attempt this defense. Yeah, so that's two levels ahead now for Team Acer. Second strike on Tassilar. We also have Shrink Ray, which we saw in action earlier. And rewind, of course, a Mirrodin. There's a sprint, double sprint on Azebo and Uther. Wormhole being picked up by um, Zeratul and double bombs. So, um, playing a little bit differently, but of course, uh, Zeratul uh, has a very versatile uh, versatile talent tree. Oh, uh, Ragi's in trouble over there on the right side. But there comes the Lightning Breath, and they still take him out. Zyfu using that shield right on time. There's a Shrink Ray onto Zarmini, but he's getting healed back up. And looks like that Shrink Ray will dissipate. They're just gonna go for the steal here. Nice timing, didn't lose anyone. And can still push this pretty hard now with those Seed Giants in the back. And maybe even the Bruisers. Looks like they're going for those neutral Bruisers. And the Seed Giants will just buy him a little bit of time. Yeah, Shrines are coming back up as well. So not even going for the Bruisers, just waiting to capture those Shrines. I think that's a really good idea here. And Zeratul just waiting. And there's another Void Prism. Wow, SK Gaming. They're just falling it for it every single time. And Focus Fire comes out on Bakery, but a good heal by Link keeping him alive. Zarmini is caught in the middle of everything, but they're not really getting the Focus Fire out this time. Zyphon needs to stay back, but there's a good surround now on Zarmini. They're trying to focus him down, but it's not going to work. Aragi quite low as well, and Holo jumps in, gets the kill there. Good route keeping Ozan back. But BZ will escape here, so just Diablo being picked up. But that has to hurt all those soul stones uh, he just lost. And he's still on cooldown, so didn't get those uh, uh, that 60 steel, uh, 60 soul stone reduction. Um, it was just not quite enough. And Zon, can he get in control over here? Ooh, he's incredibly low on mana. He, w he will need some help if he wants to capture the shrine. And Pony is coming in. I don't know. They really need Holo in this fight. And they're, all their rogues are gone. Except for Divine Storm. But Uther is not quite in there just yet. Oh, but he will be in a sec. And there should be the Divine Storm coming in. Nope, not yet. I want to focus out BZ. There it is. Ancestral Healing coming in just in time. Holo going for the kill here. But it's not going to quite work yet. But there it goes that kill. Tychus is taken out. And Link kind of caught out. But they have their heroics up and Zebo going down. Linked will get picked off here by Team Acer. And so will Zarmini. Aragi is the last one to fall. And that's a team kill. Four for one. Or five for one, rather. Really good pickup for Team Acer. Level 16 still not up for SK Gaming just yet. They have hardened focus on Uther. So they know, okay, we're in a dominating position. We can pick that up for sure. And ooh, double relentless on the side of SK Gaming. Maybe a little bit too risky. And this is gonna do some massive damage. They're still a few seconds out, so they will get the skate, maybe even the keep. I mean, they have a little bit of headway to do some amazing damage on the keep. And it's already halfway down. Now they're coming in. Ooh, Zon needs to watch out. That's a good route and a nice grenade to follow it up. But the Avatar Form is coming out. And our Ragi kind of in the middle of everything here again. Let's see if they go for the Focus Fire. Nope, not quite yet. They're gonna wait for that Lightning Breath to expire. And Zon is still in an okay spot. He can still jump out of there. There comes the Divine Storm. BZ dropping so incredibly low. But jumping out of the Rain of Vengeance. And Greenout is picked off. Zon needs to get out of that fight. And there comes a good slam onto Zon. Holo, can he escape? Yep. No, not, not at all. Zon caught out there on the left side. So far, three for two. They want to make this worth if they need to pick up two more. Oh, Bakery goes down. And a pony should be able to get away here. But still, not a bad team fight for SK. 
But I don't think it's really the starting point of a turnaround. We'll have to see. Diablo is the first one that will make it back here, so they could definitely do some work and get a few, a few, a uh, few camps. Going for the hard camp straight away. But Nazebo, maybe he can do something about this. I kind of doubt it, but BZ is kind of low. And maybe he can go for a steal. Nope, that's a little bit too risky, eh, Pony? I don't think you should go for this. What do we have now? Stone skin being picked up by SK Gaming and Blood for Blood. Firestorm. So, on a little bit for these Firestorm improvements. Our Ragi. Oh, nice slam. And there he goes, bouncing back, but I don't think he can pick him up. Oh, Lightning Breath being used a little bit haphazardly, but it might be enough. Oh, jeez, a pony. You're risking a lot here. There comes that heal, and he will get away. Let's see if they can go for some counter pressure right off the bat, but I think SK is finally getting, uh, getting back together again. Getting the band back together. Siege camp should be taken here, they're in a safe spot for now, all of them are back, Tychus will join the fray and so will Linked. And it's gonna be Siege Giant vs Siege Giant, let's see who gets that neutral bruiser camp. I think Acer is in a perfect position to take it and they're almost level 20. So by clearing this wave and going for those neutral bruisers, I think they should have enough XP to reach level 20 and get a significant edge. But oh, nice try here, SK Gaming trying to divide the team. Those bruises are up. It looks like they're coming in from all sides now. There's the sandwich. Void Prism going out. There's the Ravenous Spirit. And Green out a little bit too close. And ooh, the heal comes in. Bakery is still, still alive. Zomni being saved by that lightning breath. But Aragi is incredibly low. Maybe they go for the kill straight away. Oh no, he jumps on top of Zon and slams him back. He's trapped in between Aragi and BZ. Holo coming in from the back. BZ jumps out of the Odin. And Diablo is taken out. But so will Zon. And... Oh, good, good root there on Zomni with a zombie wall. One for nil, but they are level 20 now. Almost level 19 is up for SK, and they're trying to gain control of both shrines. Already moving Vala and Tychus in position here in the mid lane. But first, they're getting pushed back down here. Oh, Link is incredibly low. There comes the stun, and they finally take him out. There's that revenge for Muradin. And that gives them control of Bot Shrine again, so that whole plan didn't really work out for SK, but they they have to do this a little bit risky. They have to make these risky plays. And now Diablo is in trouble, and he knows it, <laughs> trying to ride away on his little pony. That's gonna give complete map control to Team Acer. They will go for the top shrine, and Z Holo is already getting ready to take the Dragon Knight. Nope. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Trying to stop Diablo for now. Only Holo versus Diablo might not really be enough. And that's Bottom Shrine taken under control of SK Gaming again. Still kind of scared of just uh, Team Acer running by and going straight for the core, doing some pretty big damage and then just getting out before they actually get in position. So for now, no Dragonite, but now Holo finally going for that connection and a pony is just gonna jump in there. It's a good move, he has sprint, he can always run away. Uh, not that much CC um, apart, aside from root. And they're gonna rotate down, get this next keep maybe. Gate will have to fall first, and that's why they have a pony on the front lines. <laughs> nice, nice drop back. I argue with a nice kick. And they will go for the towers first. And they only send a pony in. I, I really like this. They're just waiting for someone to get out of position and that's when they make their move. Holo is just waiting there to drop a nice little void prison. And then they're good to go. Hold of the storm are Nazibo and Zeratul. Everyone else just going for the improved heroics. And there he goes, a pony drops out. They got a good decent shotgun damage done. Keep is almost gone, and now they're just waiting for someone to drop out of position. There's the Void Prism only catching BZ. So Holo for the first time a little bit messing up with this. And there comes a good Divine Hurricane! What a Divine Hurricane! Good heal onto BZ, he's staying alive here. Zaifu dropping quite low, Zahn also quite low. He needs another heal if he wants to stay in this fight. 
Don't fo focus on Zarmi. And they really need to get out of there. Even though that was an amazing Divine Hurricane, I don't think it might be... Uh, it's enough here. The Dreenout will drop. Zana's in trouble. A Pony is in trouble as well, but it looks like he might get Bakery over there. Here comes the heal. Nazibo goes down. Bakery's still alive. And that was a pretty amazing fight for SK Gaming. That's a definite chance to turn this game around. They only lost Linked. And Vala will return, will Hearthstone back to heal back up. And they're going for these risky plays, going for the siege camp. Only Saifu and Zahn, but Zahn is on full health. Nevertheless, might not be enough here. Aragi should be able to get away, and yes, he will. But they're clearing those that siege camp right off the bat. And maybe SK Game gets over here to stop stop the minion wave before it gets the fort. Really important move. And they're almost almost even on experience. Still half a level ahead for Team Acer. But if they do another team fight like this, if they win another team fight um, by taking out three heroes for one, um, that would definitely get him back in the game and maybe give him a little bit of an edge. But right now, I still don't really see how uh, Aragi was the counter to Nazibo there. Okay, bottom shrine is back up and should go to complete control for SK Gaming. I really like that front lining. Oh, the Void Prison coming in from the back. Holo getting right out of there, but this time it was a really good Void Prison. There comes the follow up with the Divine Hurricane. Link drops low. Heat also falls after Vala. And maybe with a big red button he can save this, but nope. Tychus goes down. Greenout looks like he will be able to get away with that shield and another heal coming out and Zarmini dropping incredibly low. Holo jumping back. They will get the kill here on Zarmini. And that should be the last one. Nope. Yep, Diablo also got dropped low. So they'll go for a complete team wipe. We'll get at least that keep and possibly even end the game here. But Diablo is back. He did have that soul stone. Oh, a pony. You need to watch out. They really want that kill. But Arthas is getting healed back up. Has the mana well, so they're playing it safe. They got the keep, and will instead now just grab that Dragonite, go for the next push. They already have the Brutus in top lane, so they might even go for the core straight away while they're still dealing with the, with those Brutus in the top lane. Almost level 23 now for Team Acer. Can they get in a good position to stop this? Oh. Comes stun onto Zaifu, Dragonite tumbles in, and they're all going for it. Those heroics are not quite back up yet, but there comes the Divine Storm onto Aragi, Zarmini, and Linked. Good lightning breath, but is it enough? The shields are already down, it's down to 70%, core is fa failing rapidly, and they're just focusing the core here. Holo is still in that Dragonite, and it's gonna be enough. Team Acer takes this game versus SK Gaming. Wow, that was complete domination from from beginning, well, not to end, but um, I think a SK only had one chance for a comeback here, and um, they overextended a little bit. Um, once Holo just dropped these amazing Void Prisms, and Greenout had that Divine Hurricane, their, like, their um, team fight potential and um, team fight control just went through the roof.